So I'm sorry for not keeping you guys updated or showing what I've been doing. I just started school, so got a little distracted. But first, before I uh, show the main part of this video, I'm going to show you some updates on the car. All chrome grills. And then, you can't really see, but I rebuilt the Vanos and valve cover gasket, spark plugs, oil filter housing gasket, did an oil change. This broke, so I replaced it. A stud here broke, so I had to replace it. A vacuum line that goes to the air pump broke, had to replace it. And I got some BC coilovers. And what else? Hmm. Yeah, I lowered it. Just cracked my side skirt today, which sucks. My friend gave me this bike rack for free because he wrecked his car and gave it to me. Looks kind of nice. Um, I had to take the spacers off the back because I need to get these rolled. And yeah. And then today what we're going to be doing is putting in my Mishimoto Radiator, my new expansion tank, mounting plate, coolant, and yeah. Oh, and I also replaced the alternator because it went bad, the battery, and I put in a welded 3.46 diff. So I'm racing against daylight. See, moon's out, sun setting. But I'm going to jack the car up on all four and then drain all the fluid first. Okay, so I already have the skid plate and everything off. I had to put it on at the end. I have a nice clean bucket that I'm gonna use to drain everything. Oh my god! Burn my entire hand. Well, yeah, let it drain. Once it's done, we can take the radiator out. Also, can't forget to take off the cap so it drains faster. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Get all the way up. And while that's draining, I'm gonna take the intake and the air scoop off. So I have more room to work and obviously it needs to come out. Disconnect this little sensor that's on the fan shroud. I'm not really sure how to do that. Okay, there you go. And it's broken on the fan shroud, so just move it. Unplug the fan shroud. Or fan. And might as well unplug this sensor on the lower radiator hose. I burn myself on, what is that? AC hoses? I don't know. Got a T25, I hope that's the right size. I can't see the bolt though because it's too dark. Found it. And it is. Do this T25. Still can't see anything. It's dark now. I wonder how dark it is on camera. I'll see when I'm editing. Well, this fan shroud should come out. Should. Oh yeah, it's out. I ran completely out of daylight, so I'm gonna stop for today and continue tomorrow. I just left off with whatever I showed you guys last and the last thing I'm gonna do tonight is unbox that radiator admire it for like half an hour and then put my radiator mounting plate on and call it a night oh that works just lift this up oh this is cool it's so cool get in here Mm. Look at this. What is this? It's in a freaking Mishimoto bag. 
I don't know what it is. I don't want to check. Okay, here we go. This is the coolest thing I ever bought. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Oh, I wish I didn't rip this bag. It's too cool, though. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Damn. Oh. There we go. It says Mishimoto right there. Oh, look at these welds. Look at that. Mishimoto? Yep. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't put the mounting plate on because I need the screws from the old radiator. So I'm just gonna lay it on here and see if <coughs> it works. I think it goes like that, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is why. Oh, I clipped my finger. All right. So it's the next day. I had to stop last night because it was too dark. I couldn't see. In about three hours, I have to leave for Fresno, which is four hours away in this car. So yeah, let's continue. I still need to take that hose off, and then, not sure if you could see it, well, one of the hoses on the bottom off, and then I could pull it right out, because I don't think it's attached by anything with this, and that, so yeah. So what I ended up doing was, well, pulling that one off, then I pulled the expansion tank off first, to get to that bottom hose, right here, otherwise I wouldn't to be able to get to it and I realized there's one more Torx right there and see that crack that's on replacing it and upgrading then that one that one is coming out swap everything over from this radiator to my new one now so I have to take a bolt or screw right here and here off so I could mount the I'm gonna like the new one here and I realized a huge problem that makes me kind of not like Mishimoto anymore this here is a port that is used right here so like the mounting plate has something to go on. Like that, right? There's the port. Goes like that. And then here you could see where they forgot to put the port. So this thing has literally no way of connecting to my radiator. I just watched a video and I guess they don't even use that port. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go with it and not use it. So I have to swap in this bottom piece right here. Just and we'll unclip this, move it to the new one. Yeah, pretty self explanatory. Once again, never mind, I guess they don't even use that bottom bracket. Like, they don't even have the cutouts for it anywhere here. And this thing just kind of flops around. I just realized I never made an ending to this video. I ended up driving to Fresno and back right after the last clip, about 400 miles. Car didn't overheat, I was going between 
Well, I'm not gonna say how fast, between four and 5,000 RPMs the entire way for three hours straight with my 3.46 dip in 100 plus degree weather. It was like almost 110 for like, yeah, three hours straight, part in overheat. It used to get really hot, so the Mishimoto does work. I do recommend it for anyone that wants to cool down their car a little bit because it didn't even get a little bit hot. And this is all from bleeding the system. It doesn't leak. But yeah, made it a Fresno and back without any problems. I even have two missing bolts on my axle on the left side that goes to the diff. Still made it there and back. Bottomed out a lot of times on the freeway because the freeway sucks. But yeah, I will make sure to keep you guys updated from now on and record everything.